Welcome to Superhero Stories. I am your host, Captain EJ. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Spider-Man. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Captain EJ will be your guide. This story is brought to you by my friend, Mrs. Honeybee. Let's begin. The bowling alley is packed tonight. You hear the thud of bowling balls hitting the wooden alleys and the clatter of pins falling. The sounds come together like a song. Your bowling ball is smooth and heavy in your hand as you swing it carefully toward the alley. You let go of the ball and hold your breath. The bowling ball glides down the alley until it smacks into the white pins. The pins go flying. You got a strike. You jump up and down to celebrate just as someone taps you on your shoulder. Behind you stands a teenage boy, but you didn't think you've ever met him before. Who could it be? When you frown at him, he edges a little closer and flashes a grin. You don't recognize me? I'm Peter, he whispers. Peter Parker? You gasp in surprise. That's Spider-Man. He's just wearing his regular clothes right now. But why is Peter Parker here at the bowling alley? Maybe he wants some pointers on bowling a strike? Before you can give Peter Parker some bowling tips, he pulls you toward the side of the bowling alley. Listen, he says. He's still speaking very quietly. I hope your arms aren't too tired from bowling because the Green Goblin is on his way here right now. You have to help me beat him before he can hurt anyone. This time, it's your turn to grin. You're always ready to show a bad guy who's boss. You nod eagerly and Peter sighs with relief. Thank goodness, Peter says. I knew I could count on you. I'll jump into my Spidey suit and head to the front of the bowling alley. You sneak around back. We'll work together to take the Green Goblin down. You give a big thumbs up. You and Peter both take off in different directions. Peter Parker disappears, but you spot a familiar superhero in a red suit hiding way up high. He's used his webs to sneak up into the ceiling of the bowling alley. Suddenly, the door of the bowling alley flies open. The Green Goblin is here. The evil villain stands on his goblin glider and flies around the alley. People cry out and dive under tables and chairs. The Green Goblin throws around pumpkin bombs that burst. Drinks are spilling and things in a bowling alley are getting destroyed. The sound is sharp and loud and hurts your ears, but you keep an eye on them. You've got to distract the Green Goblin so Spider-Man can attack. You look around, trying to make a plan. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. How can you distract the Green Goblin? Then a shiny bowling ball catches your eye. That's perfect. You crouch down and rush toward the rack of bowling balls. You grab hold of the most shiny ball and hold it tight. You swing your arms back just like you did when you knocked down all those pins, and then you let the ball fly. The ball leaves your fingers and soars through the air over lane one, lane two, lane three, lane four, and then hits the Green Goblin right in the belly. The Green Goblin flies off his goblin glider with a grunt and knocks him into the corner. This gives Spider-Man a chance to come to the rescue. Spider-Man swings in from the ceiling using his web and slings it at the Green Goblin. Sluggish from being knocked over, the Green Goblin is no match for Spidey's webs. The Green Goblin is so wrapped up in the webs that he can't move. As everyone climbs out from under the tables and sees that the coast is clear, Spider-Man swings over to you and grins happily. You've saved the bowling alley, he says. I wouldn't want to go up against you in bowling or in a fight, he laughs. I'll take care of this bad guy now. Later, you're going to have to teach me some of your moves. With that, Spidey swings over toward the Green Goblin and drags him outside of the bowling alley. Everyone inside claps for you, knowing that you helped to save the day. I love that story, Captain EJ. You're the best. Can you tell the one about how Spider-Man picked you up with his web? Yep, ready when you are. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Let the story begin. You are here on the cross streets where Spider-Man said he would pick you up. You look up to the sign to check the names against your watch. He said he'd be here by now, but traffic is bumper to bumper. The sound of the busy city fills the air, but the sun shining down on you makes you forget all of it for a moment. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and let your mind take you to a beachfront paradise instead. Then slowly breathe out through your mouth and look down the block at the line of cars stopped in all directions. They honk angrily at each other while you wait. You stand as close as you can to the street. 
balancing carefully as you walk along the curb. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. You make sure to be as visible as possible so Spider-Man doesn't miss you. Look down the other street as far as you can. The sunshine gleams off the windows of the cars and reflects in your eyes, so you shade them with your hand. Just then, something rushes from the other side, grabs the hand that shaded your eyes and lifts you effortlessly into the air. It's Spider-Man, and he literally picked you up, swinging by his web. Traffic never bothered him much. You feel light as a feather gliding through the sky above all the cars below, stopped in place, honking. People in the office buildings look out the window to marvel at you and Spider-Man swinging across the city by web. You can see the astonished looks on their faces as you zoom by. The air rushes against your cheeks and you're flying so quickly that you close your eyes instead of watching as building after building goes by. Before you know it, Spider-Man lands on one of the tallest buildings in the city. Your feet are gently delivered to the concrete rooftop and Spider-Man hops down along with you. He rolls his mask up over his face and gives you a big hug hello. You laugh because you were expecting him to pick you up in a car, but he doesn't know why you have expected that. Traveling by web is way more fun. Speaking of fun, he already defeated one villain today, so he has the whole rest of the day to dedicate to having fun. He looks out over the city with his arms outspread and asks what you would like to do. From here, you can see everything that the city has to offer. Narrow your eyes and scan the cityscape from side to side, looking at all the fun things there are to do. That's when you see a fair all the way across the city and you see that it has a Ferris wheel. You point it out and immediately Spider-Man pulls down his mask, launches his web, and you're off swinging through the city once again. Take another slow, deep breath in through your nose as the rush of fresh air breezes against your face. Then slowly breathe out as you land feet first at the entrance to the fair. You and Spider-Man play all the games, eat cotton candy, and go on each of the rides. Together, you have all the fun Spider-Man needs to have after a long day of defeating villains. He forgets all about that as you laugh and win stuffed animals. Spider-Man carries around a big blue bear that he is very proud to have won. You two cannot go to the fair without going on the Ferris wheel. So you, Spider-Man, and the blue stuffed bear hop onto the Ferris wheel that tilts as you step up and sit down. You travel all the way to the top where you get another spectacular view of the city. That's when you see a boat leaving the harbor on its way to a paradise cruise. The Ferris wheel stops at the top and your compartment swings back and forth while people at the bottom get off of the ride. You point the boat out to Spider-Man and say that a cruise sounds like it would be fun, but instead of launching you instantly there, he gives you his web launcher. Now it's your turn to swing across the city. You take the web launcher into your hands and attach it onto your wrist. Take a slow, deep breath in through your nose and activate the web to launch all the way to the boat. Then slowly breathe out through your mouth and swing by the web with Spider-Man flying through the clear blue sky. You look back to see the stuffed bear going back down on the Ferris wheel alone. You know someone will find it and their day will be made. You look forward again just in time to land on the top deck of the boat. Now you're setting out on a cruise without a care in the world. Standing against the railing, the salty waves crash against the boat and form a cool mist that is so refreshing. You and Spider-Man relax and enjoy the boat ride until you arrive at the sandy shore of paradise. Spider-Man notices a row of surfboards and says that he's always wanted to learn how to surf. You agree and you both run up to grab one, then hit the waves. Spider-Man struggles to stay up and tries to use his web launcher on the water, but the web is no match for the ocean. Together. You try wave after wave. You're able to stand up a few times, but the waves are so strong that you splash into the water and float back to shore. Then Spider-Man has an idea. You both swim out to catch the next wave. Then, when you stand up, he launches the web toward your outstretched hand. Now you and Spider-Man use the web to stabilize yourselves and you successfully ride the wave all the way into shore. You did it. You and Spider-Man surf until the sun goes down in paradise. For our next story tonight, tell us about getting your very own Spidey suit and zooming around the city. You whistle as you happily march toward Spider-Man's house. 
You're excited as you walk to your superhero friend's house and feel the wind on your face. Spider-Man just called to let you know that he had a very special surprise waiting for you. You can't wait to find out what it is. When you arrive, the very first thing you notice is that Spider-Man is wearing a brand new Spidey suit. You can hardly believe your eyes. This new suit is bright red and bright blue with a big black spider sewn into the back. It looks really cool. What do you think? Asks Spider-Man. I just got this new Spidey suit and I wanted to show it to you first. You take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth and give Spidey two big thumbs up. Spider-Man looks awesome. You feel so lucky that you're the first friend that Spider-Man wanted to show his flashy new suit to. Spider-Man laughs. Wait a second. You didn't think this was your big surprise, did you? You can't help but gasp. There's more? Just you wait, says Spider-Man eagerly. Spider-Man turns to pick a box off a nearby shelf. He hands it to you and grins excitedly. Open it, he urges. What kind of present could Spider-Man have gotten you? Take another deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. The box is light and easy to hold. The sides of the box are smooth against your fingers. When you give it a curious shake, you hear something rustling faintly inside. Spider-Man laughs and yells, open it. You eagerly tug open the box and then fish through some crinkly tissue paper. You dig deeper and deeper into the box until you pull out a second Spidey suit. It looks just like the one Spider-Man is wearing now. You're so shocked that you drop the box and the Spidey suit. That's right, laughed Spider-Man. I got a second new Spidey suit. I haven't been able to test the suits out yet. I was hoping you'd help me. Can you put on this Spidey suit and sling around town? You can hardly believe your ears. Spider-Man wants you to put on a brand new Spider-Man suit and test it out for him. You nod happily. You're so excited that you can't even speak. All right, cheer Spider-Man. I have a superhero meeting in a few minutes, so I'm going ahead there. I'll meet up with you a little later. Have fun. You wave goodbye to Spider-Man and then put on the Spidey suit. It fits like a glove. You hold out your hands and inspect them curiously. There are two small devices in the palms that will shoot webs. You cautiously walk over to the mirror to see how you look. Wow, you look exactly like Spider-Man. Now it's time to explore the city. You climb up onto the windowsill and look around. You're pretty high up. Below you, people walk up and down the sidewalk. They don't notice you way up here. Cars zoom down the street and horns honk. There is so much activity going on below. With one more deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, you lift one hand and point it towards a nearby building. You flick out your wrist just like you'd seen Spider-Man do before, and a web shoots out. Before you can even blink, the web glues to the side of the building. It's now or never. You gulp and leap out of the window. Soon, you're soaring through the city. Wind breezes across your face as you cast web after web in front of you. This might be the first time you've worn a Spidey suit, but you're a natural. Slinging from building to building is so much fun. You have the time of your life swinging your way across the city. When the sun starts to go down, you know you should probably head back to Spider-Man's house. He'll need the suit back soon. Just as you turn around, you notice a strange cloud of smoke drifting up from the big bridge nearby. What could that be? You sling a little closer to check it out. You can hear horns honking loudly and you can see lights flashing. Wait, is that the sound of people shouting for help? Your stomach turns nervously. That bridge is the main one in town. Tons of people use it every day. If there is trouble on that bridge, it's a big deal. When you get closer to the bridge, you see that something is terribly wrong. Dr. Octopus is terrorizing the people on the bridge. Using the powerful metal arms on his back, Doc Ock is trying to rip the support beams out from under the bridge. The people on the bridge won't be able to escape before it falls. You look around, but there's no sign of Spider-Man. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. It's up to you to save the day. You're very nervous, but at least you have this amazing Spidey suit. Spider-Man, growls Dr. Octopus when you swing closer. 
He pauses and frowns. Wait, you're not Spider-Man. The bad guy begins to laugh. His metal arms still pull at the bridge's beams. Doc Ock looks at you and yells, There's no way someone like you could stop an evil villain like me. Run away while you still can. Your pulse is pounding and your knees are shaking, but you're not about to run away. The people on the bridge need you. You might not be Spider-Man, but you can still save the people. You flick out both of your hands, unleashing as much of the suit's webs as you can. The strong webs wrap around Doc Ock, pinning him and his metal tentacles against the support beams of the bridge. The webs also wrap around the beams. You shoot him again with web and again and again. He's becoming overwhelmed by your webs and is pinned to the ground. That will keep the bridge safe until the people can escape. Dr. Octopus struggles against your webs, but they're stronger than he is. You did it. You stopped Dr. Octopus. How could you manage to stop me, wails Dr. Octopus. Because my friend here is a superhero just like me, Spider-Man calls suddenly. Spider-Man swings down to your side and grins at you. Whew, I'm sorry I'm late, but you handled this perfectly. Dr. Octopus didn't stand a chance. How about we go slinging around town together to celebrate? You happily nod. You can't think of a better way to celebrate beating Doc Ock than web slinging with Spider-Man. That concludes our story. I can't wait to see you again. Captain EJ, over and out.